Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another day of Mark Bar brought to you by Mike Bjork. Today is Thursday, February 2nd, and we just got a couple economic news released to schedule for today, uh, but tomorrow, of course, will be the big ones with the job reports being re uh, released from the Bureau of Labor Statistics. It seems like every month those have been the most important data we've been searching for, as it kind of gives us a clue as to uh, where the economy is moving in terms of for job creation here. So uh, without further ado, let's start off with the weekly jobless claims. Uh, so last week we had 260,000 people apply for unemployment. Uh, this week it was supposed to come in about 254,000 and it dropped 14,000. So 14,000 less uh, people applied for unemployment, which is obviously a good sign. We like to see that number come down. Uh, so this will uh, kind of create some intrigue for tomorrow with these uh, lower numbers of weekly jobless claims. We've had some pretty low ones uh, in the month of January. So is that going to translate to uh, more job growth uh, for the month of uh, uh, January and um, with the ADP numbers coming in as hot as it did the other day, uh, you know, it's going to, of course, get you to uh, wonder if that is if it's going to come in pretty high. Right now, they're kind of expecting about a hundred. The forecast is about one hundred seventy thousand new jobs, but if it comes in much higher than that, it's uh, you know that's going to be obviously good news for the economy and uh, things that the Fed and everybody else will look at, which we'll touch on uh, the Fed here in a little bit here. Productivity uh, third quarter we had three and a half percent. Uh, forecast for the fourth quarter was at 0.8 percent, and it came in at 1.3 percent. So, uh, productivity is up 1.3 percent, obviously down from what uh, the fourth or third quarter level, but you know, again, still up. Uh, unit labor costs obviously went up. We had uh, 0.2 percent back in third quarter. Uh, fourth quarter was supposed to go up 2 percent, and it went up 1.7 percent for the fourth quarter. So again, those are stuff we're going to have to keep an eye on, as those could be inflation. Uh, you know, gauges has to kind of tell us that uh, potentially that could be inflation, higher inflation in the near term. Uh, stock market's down a little bit today. Uh, even though we had some decent news there, uh, some of the news is kind of lingering. Other ones are kind of taking more presence. And a little bit of the uh, FOMC comments yesterday, it basically didn't give us any indication as to when a rate hike came in. Basically, it didn't paint the picture bad, but it said the economy is kind of going. But it's kind of at a kind of at a low a little bit, and basically they're, um, you know, I mean, didn't really indicate as to when uh, when the next rate hike would come in. So it came in a slightly dovish for a lot of uh, investors. So they're kind of a little disappointed in, in some respects on that. Um, also, of course, you know, making the news is um, some of the, uh, Trump's uh, foreign relations. Uh, basically, comments uh, rumors has it that he's threatened. Uh, Mexican president that he's going to send uh, the, aren't the military down there to take care of the drug traffickers since uh, you know uh, he doesn't believe that they're taking uh, taking enough initiative to, uh, to fight the war on drugs. Uh, also, apparently, he's been kind of um, uh, a backlash with regards to agreement. Apparently, Obama administration made with Australia about taking in some uh, uh, refugees, and uh, I guess uh, he was a little abrupt about the prime minister of Australia which is important primarily because they've been a very staunch ally of the U.S. So, uh, you know, there's concerns that maybe he's uh, stepping, uh, kind of being a little abrupt or a little, uh, uh, not a good uh, ally, uh, partner with some of our staunchest allies. So, uh, we're taking care of those relationships. So let's take a look at the bond market. The bond market is up. So here's the 50-day moving average. As you can see, every time we've touched it, we pull back. So, um, Today is really no different. We're up about 25 basis points right now. Uh, again, the last couple of days we've been seeing it. We've been up, we pulled back. We've been up, we pulled back. Even down, we were down and we pulled back. After the FOMC meeting came in yesterday, it came right back in. So right on the 10 day moving average. So if you guys got rates out there, I would uh, seriously consider maybe starting to lock in uh, here very soon, probably because again, uh, this is showing kind of a history or pattern here that we're getting kind of knocked down every time we get reach the 50-day uh, moving average level here and uh, you know we get kind of knocked down to about this 10 obviously we're seeing right, right around this 10-day moving average here uh, so it could be so might as well price in the better pricing today from what we have yesterday so we had better pricing than yesterday uh, so might as well take advantage of that now uh, so you can get close sooner all right, folks. Uh, anyways, if you guys want some uh, data throughout the day, just come over to Twitter. You can find me there, and I do post throughout the day. Uh, you can find me at Mike Bjork, and uh, hope to see you guys around. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys uh, tomorrow. Bye-bye.